Hey everybody. So in this video, we're gonna build full stack chat functionality with Express and React.js. In the past, you really had two options. Option one, you write tons of code all on your own and it takes months to build and it probably doesn't work that well. Or option two, you have to pay lots of money for some enterprise SaaS service. Neither of those are great. In an ideal world, what you do is you build your front end with some pre-built components on NPM and on your back end, you just make some API calls to a freemium chat service. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So as you can see here, the demo is pretty simple. You have a login or sign up page. And when you do either of these things, you can retrieve the chat histories for that user. Of course, you can send new messages and you can also do things like create new chat rooms if needed. Basically everything you want, it's gonna take 10 minutes to set up without wasting any more time, let's get started. So for the first step in this project, we're gonna set up our very own chat server on chatengine.io. In this server that we set up, we'll host everything chat related from the message histories to the WebSocket connections, everything. And how this architecture will work is the following. When a user uses our application, they'll be making API calls to our Express server. But when a user needs to do anything chat related, like send a message, they'll start making API calls to our chat server. This keeps our backend code and our chat server code separate, which has multiple benefits. Benefit one is you don't have to write a chat server on your own. It saves you a ton of time, a ton of headaches, and the code that we'll be downloading is really great. Benefit number two is it keeps your code way cleaner. You can have one project that hosts everything regarding your app and you don't have to clutter it with a bunch of chat code. And benefit three is that we break up our services into separate backends so that we can keep things isolated and clean. Assuming that you've bought into the idea of setting up a third party chat server to host everything chat related, let's do exactly that. Go to chatengine.io. It's the first link in the description of this video. Sign up and create a new project. Once you do that, you get granted your very own chat server. Store these two pieces of information. The project ID will allow your API calls to identify the chat server we just set up. And the private key will give your API calls permissions to do things like create and destroy users, which is obviously sensitive. Store these two values because we'll need them for part two in this tutorial when we connect our backend to our chat server. So now that we have a chat server which can support chat rooms, message histories, and WebSocket connections, we want to give all of our users access to this chat server so that they can set up chat rooms with other users, send messages, etc. So how are we going to do this? We're gonna synchronize our user base on Express with our user base in Chat Engine via REST API calls. So whenever a user signs up for our service, they also have access to our Chat Engine chat server so that they can set up chat rooms, send messages to other users, etc. So let's see exactly how this works. To look in an example Express server, download the full stack chat code from the link in the description hop into server express and go to index.js. Now this is an example express server that has two rest endpoints, one post for sign up and one post for login. Now a standard sign up flow involves the following code. Take all the user data, write the user into the database and then return that user JSON once successful. That's still okay. You don't need to change any of this code but you need to make one additional API call, which is a post request to API chat engine IO slash users, where you store a copy of all that user data and you link the private key in the headers. This way, the user is now also stored on chat engine and they can use their exact same user data to authenticate into chat engine and start setting up chat rooms. The other API call is login. Typically this involves taking a username and a password fetching the user from the database, and then returning that user JSON once successful. If you also want to authenticate into Chat Engine, you can make a get call to users slash me under your project ID, and you can see if a user with this username and this secret exists. 
If a user already exists, you'll get a successful status and that user JSON returned. So what did we just do? First, we've set up a private chat server on chatengine.io. And with these webhooks, we've essentially synchronized our user base with our chat engine server. So now all of our users can authenticate into chat engine and start chatting with one another through that functionality. Last but not least, let's connect our front end to chat server with some pre-built NPM components and give our users access to this functionality. Before we focus on React, let's get our Express server up and running. To do so, go into Server Express and then create a .env file with the following project ID and private key. Of course, replace these UUIDs with your own. Once that's done, open up the terminal, cd into Server Express, run npm install and run start. And once you've done this, you have an Express server up and running that has a signup API call and a login API call. Again, the signup API call creates user copies on Chat Engine, and the login API call makes sure those users exist on Chat Engine. Now that the server is up and running, let's understand how the React project works. So go into Client React, and I'll explain the code right now. The React app is a very simple two page application with an auth page and a chats page. The auth page has that simple login form and signup form, which I showed at the beginning of this video. When either of those forms are successfully completed, we make an API call to either login or sign up on the Express server. And once successful, we update the user state with the object returned. Once that object exists, we pass that user into the chats page and render it as you can see here. So the chats page is actually really simple to understand. As I talked about in the beginning of this video, we just pull in an NPM component from React Chat Engine Pretty, and you can see the docs right here. It's a very simple NPM component, which is supported by Chat Engine. It has this really cool midnight theme and full-blown functionality to create chats, delete chats, send messages, etc. So let's see how this works. Again, we're gonna have to create a .env file in client React, and we'll have to have the following environment variables set. Once that's done, cd into client react, run npm install, and npm run start. This is gonna set up a React project on port 3000, and our Express server is gonna be running on port 3001. Once this is done, you'll be able to see the React project fully working, and we have full stack React, full stack chat, fully built. So let's see if it works. The login function works. We can see all of the chat histories this user already has up and running. And as promised, we can send new messages to these chat rooms. If we want to create a new chat room with some other users, let's see if anybody starts with a D, David, perfectly. Yo, David. We're done. So let's start from the top. We set up our own private chat server on Chat Engine, which hosts all of these messages, all of these chat rooms, etc. To give all of our users access to this chat functionality, we had to store copies of all of our user data on Chat Engine. And then on the front end, we have this NPM component, which we associate the project ID we just created, and we see if a user with this username in secret exists. If it does exist, we render all of their chat histories and we give them access to all of our chat server functionality. Hopefully this is clear. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. And if you have any future requests or questions, also just leave that in the comments and I'm happy to address them. Thanks for your time.